And I never missed any holidays from Jane. Never a birthday was missed. Anything, Easter, Christmas, Christmas Eve, birthdays, anybody, my husband. I didn't get no call Christmas morning. Sheila Fowler did get a call Christmas morning. She'll never forget. Her son, James Leon Birch Jr., was dead. Coroner Leon Jones believes Birch died from the cold this weekend, just a day after another man, John Reagan, died the same way in downtown Macon. Anthony Montalto introduces us to Ms. Fowler and shares how Macon Bibb County is trying to help the homeless fight these frigid temperatures. He called me Christmas Eve night and he told me he's a mama, I love you. Every day, Sheila Fowler got a call from her best friend, her son, James Leon Birch Jr. I didn't get no call Christmas morning. Fowler knew that wasn't like him. Then... But I did at 11 o'clock from the Sheriff's Department. And they told me my son was deceased. Her best friend, her baby, found dead near 3900 Pinona Circle. Birch was homeless, Fowler says. He died in the cold just a month before he was supposed to get a pacemaker and a fresh start. James was almost there, almost. He was almost there. But the word that he kept saying to me, no, mama, no, I don't want to come home. Deputies found Birch just a day after another man, John Reagan, was found dead on Cherry Street in downtown Macon. They believe Reagan also died from the cold. Several Macon shelters came together last week to expand capacity and accommodate as many as possible. Is taking our typical capacity of 120 at Brookdale or 120 at Salvation Army and creating 70 additional beds. Now, uh, really up to 80 additional beds. They also worked with the Macon Transit Authority to provide free bus rides to the shelters. We should care about the lives of those that exist on the margin and the system that we have in place should be prepared to receive. Jake Hall with Unite to End Homelessness says the system was in place. He fears without it, there could have been even more deaths. As we continue to expand the effort that we'll reach a day one day soon where we don't find headlines like this on Christmas Day. Hall says his group will continue trying to find the root causes of homelessness in Macon so they can find the right solutions for the community. In Macon, Anthony Montalto, 13 WMAZ News. Now, Ms. Fowler says she believes the county and resource centers are doing everything they can to help. Jake Hall says they're looking into ways to make the bed expansion a more permanent solution.